What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another Let's Play Gold Crest by Stevie. Thanks, guys, for clicking on the video. Really do appreciate it. So I have jumped ahead just a little bit from last week. Um, watched a couple of YouTube, little YouTube videos, how farms work, you know, while I was uh, harvesting here. <laughs> and uh, figured it would be a great time to jump ahead just a little bit in the map. And uh, I got to watch some YouTube in the, in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I do watch a lot of YouTube still. Just saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get the planter going. And then, let's see. Jump down here to Mary's. Uh, I want to buy some more sheep, guys. At least another trailer load. Maybe more. Um, I just, I'm, I want to get that really ramped up here. Um... Let's see, something, but yeah. Did you guys know if you put the scroll wheel, if you put your mouse cursor on, you can use your scroll wheel? Uh, actually, you don't have to have your cursor anywhere. You can just use your scroll wheel, and uh, away you go. There we go. So, another load of sheep to the farm. Uh, that'll definitely help us out a little bit with our wool production and everything. So, we got not like a lot of money tied up in the sheep, but we have some money tied up in the sheep, so it'd be nice to actually be able to get some wool and uh, make some of the money that we have tied up in the sheep back. Uh, so that's 80,000 now just in uh, just in sheep alone. So yeah, we, we need to get some money back out of them. Oh god, they all just died right there. Let's just put the cover on, pretend we didn't see that happen, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, we need to get some money back out of the sheep and the best way to do that honestly is to invest more money into more sheep. And it'll help our reproduction rate a little bit. Our reproduction rate's got to be really high right now. Or, like, take forever is what I'm trying to say. The reproduction time, not... Re you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Um, so there's that. Uh, it's probably taking forever to make sheep. So by buying more sheep, it'll take less time to make more sheep. It's a whole thing, guys. It's a whole thing. Talk to your parents about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness this just went off on a weird <laughs> uh, so next thing I think we're going to buy guys to completely change the subject I'm going to go ahead and get those conveyor belts set up on the sheep as well just so I don't have to worry about cleaning them I know they're not that big of a deal but and I know there's a mod we have the mod robot thing too on this map but I kind of like the conveyor belts they, they work they're simple, they work, they're reliable, uh, they don't really cost that much money. I know the robot doesn't cost much at all, but that is what we are going to do, guys. That is it. So, now we'll be up to, what, 20 sheep? So that'll be good, because you guys can tell that's all we have so far. Off of our uh, uh, little, what's it called here? So yeah, 20 sheep now, guys, that's a lot better. A lot better. We realistically should buy, what, a hundred, maybe? Maybe even more. But that's okay. That's okay. 20 will be good for now. 20 will be good, guys, for now. Because I would really like to buy another tractor here real soon. Uh, I am going to have to plow everything maybe next harvest. And it would be nice to have kind of two big tractors. Uh, one to run the culti plow and one to run the uh, cedar. This is totally not the shed that I normally park this under, but that's okay. It will work. It will work. It will torque as well. It will torque. It will torque. I mean work. <laughs> Alright, so on the conveyor belts, uh, we need at least I'm going to say three of the small guys here, the pickups. Uh, I believe is what I have on other places that I have this set up. And then we need two of the long ones here. So let's go ahead and just buy two of them. And so it's thirty-one thousand dollars for this. It's not that big of a, not that big of an expense to be honest. Um, so there's that. And because Mr. Stevie, by the way, guys, if you want his Facebook, go uh, check out the link in the description. And there's also a Google Drive link down there that has every mod that I'm currently running on this map. And I will update it if I update mods. 
But because Mr. Stevie has reset the repoint point, reset the reset, <gasps> words are hard. When you reset stuff on this map, it goes to your homestead. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can kind of cheat here a little bit when purchasing stuff. Oh, it's the sheep symbol. I was like, what is that? Uh, you can kind of cheat on this map when you're when you're purchasing stuff and have it reset to your homestead. So, instead of making five trips down there, hey, we'll just make five trips to our homestead. No big deal, right? <laughs> Thanks, Stevie. Appreciate it. The reset point at the shop never really made sense to me. Uh, I've grown to, I guess not, I'm like, I've grown to be okay with it in Goldcrest. And uh, Sosnovka, but it's not really my favorite place to. Uh, yeah, it's just not really my fave. <laughs> Much rather have it at the homestead, like it's been on at least every farm sim game that I've played, which is 11, uh, 13, 15, and of course, it's different on 17. So there is that. There is that. Jumping, holy jumping, guys. Okay, so let's get over here. We're going to need at least two, probably all three of them. They do have a pretty good spread on, like, how wide out they can get their stuff, but I bought it. We might as well use it kind of deal. So, and actually, if we're using loose grass, we could set up another one of these to auto-feed. Not really auto, but to feed. Actually, you know. Yeah, let's, let's do, you know, we might be able to get away with two on this one. Let's, let's try to. Okay, let's turn you on. Let's unfold you so that, or fold you, I guess, is technically the correct terminology there. Where'd that grass just grow? So confused. Yeah, I think we can get by with just two on here, guys. Put that one there. Full or fold, whatever you want to call it. Fold the hitch up so the wheel's down. Because if it's, the hitch is folded out, that steering wheel is actually off the ground. And it does no good. So, you have to unfold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to put two on here. We may set up a third one. Um, and then we can actually dump grass it, at it. Because we're using primarily... We're only using loose grass at this point. Um on this map and, and these really aren't gonna like run that much because we only have 20 sheep and oh, we need to we need to empty the combine real fast guys uh, I probably shouldn't be worrying about this with only having 20 sheep but nothing says that next time we make some money on this map say selling the soybeans which we are replanting soybeans so it'll be a little while but nothing says that I might not you know buy 200 sheep or something crazy uh, which, you know, I just might do because I'm kind of insane like that sometimes. So, yeah. Thumbs up if you guys want more sheep, by the way. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button down the down below the video. I would appreciate it, guys. It does help the channel. Uh, I know a lot of people's like, a lot of people's, a lot of people are like, that doesn't do anything. It does. It helps the channel. It really does, guys. And uh, it lets me know. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying it as well. That's kind of the biggest thing, honestly, for me. Is uh, make sure that you guys are enjoying it. So, yes, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. And I don't talk about it too often. I guess at the end of the videos I try to. But for the most part, I don't talk about that kind of kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm stiff. Okay, that's enough talk about the thumbs up button. That y'all should smash. Shift. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the long conveyor. I guess this really isn't the long. This is the elbow conveyor, I guess we call it. Because it can bend like an elbow. Get it? Like macaroni. This is the this is the mac and cheese elbow. Mac and cheese conveyor, I mean. You I'm just talking crazy now. Actually, can we get by with just one of these? By golly, George, I think we might be able to. Holy jumping. This feed trough's small on this uh, map, which is totally okay with me. Actually, we need it this way. Yeah. That's what, That's right. That's right. We need it this way. 
and it's, it's going to save us a lot of time to go ahead and set this up at least a little bit with the tractor first instead of trying to drive the uh, obnoxiously slow conveyor belt and it is obnoxiously slow guys we should probably unhook it before we get out and move the tractor out of the way as well okay so if we extend this out all the way and then crank it around the corner once again all the way and we got a little bit yep a little bit of grass I heard heard the action of just a tiny bit of grass off of this well what's the closer conveyor belt to, to the camera right now um, and I'm assuming it fed it to the sheep already so now that is actually set up guys that will run automatically keep the sheep nice and clean now if you notice there's not really a place to feed the sheep well there still is and that place would be so everybody freaks out about this but the place to feed the sheep would be just right here you can back in here and there's plenty of room still or you can do what I'm about to do just for fun more than anything that's the only reason I'm doing this one uh, I have seen this done before and it's like hey why not let's do it so um, we already own the conveyor belt. Now, the other long conveyor belt, we may... I guess we'll just hang on to it. Maybe we'll put it up with the cows, because eventually we can use it up there. Um, or something, but for right now, we don't really have a use for it. Uh, I don't need it up with the sheep, just kind of clogging things up, so... Yeah. Oh, I just realized, too, guys. I've got those plows sitting in the shed. We need to make those disappear. Because we have the culti plow now, and I don't think we're ever gonna need anything but the culti plow. Now we may need two culti plows in the future, but I don't think we're gonna need anything but the culti plow. So what I'm actually gonna do with this one here is set it and forget it. Five cool points to anybody who knows what that's from. <laughs> Just set it and forget it. So I'm just going to put this one kind of like here. And I know this is random to you guys. It seems really random. But what I can do then is dump a pile of grass at the end of this. And as long as it's not like too much. And this is more so later when I get like a ton of sheep. But I can dump a pile of grass here at the end and it'll just suck it up. Realistically, there's no reason to do this since I can just back it on the other side. I'm well aware of that. But I have the thing, I might as well use it. So, there's that. <laughs> there is that. Let's go grab some plows and run them down to the shop and get rid of them. Actually, let's, we need to get that combine out of the way for cedar. Um, I mean, very, very productive in the last two videos here, guys. This one and last one. Getting a lot of work done on this map. Um, really need to set up my vehicle group switcher. La 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 la. <laughs> Need to pick up that grass over there yet, too. We got time. We got time to do it. We'll do it live. As uh, Bill O'Reilly once said, F it. We'll do it live. Live action. Or something. <laughs> Definitely or something. Let's just go ahead and do this real fast. Definitely or something. I really am wanting to get a semi truck on this map as well because things like. And animals would, would, would help out a lot with that. Um, but really, tractor wise, because I know I keep talking about buying a tractor. Let's go scrolly scroll. Uh, check out all this modded stuff. A lot of the modded stuff just, I think it has more realistic pricing and, and stuff like that. Um, not a lot of changes to it necessarily, I don't believe. And I could be completely wrong and talking out of my her, her, her. But you never know. You never know. Because like $180,000 for that JCB, what is the in-game one? Do, 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 do. Yeah, 225000 So I think that's a lot of what the modded stuff is that just turned down the price. I wouldn't mind the JCB, actually, because of the speed. JCB is a really good hauling tractor. Really good running tractor. Um, that kind of stuff. Really, really good for that. We gotta paint it green, of course. Come on, why not? Why not? Let's just go ahead and pick it up. Let's do it. 196,000. 
Wait, that doesn't seem right. Why doesn't that seem right? Um, aha, because I didn't put the fifteen thousand uh, dollar. Yeah, we want to go ahead and take it up to the three ten horse. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Oh, it's one hundred eighty thousand to start with. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, we need to clear up some stuff here, guys. We got a cluster going. And the JCB will be able to pull that planter. Yeah, we use that on the closed server all the time. JCB will be able to pull the planter just fine. The John Deere can pull the Calty Plow just fine. So we've got our tractors for that. Um, if we need the JCB to kind of replace this tractor, honestly. Uh, actually, which one's bigger? I don't know. Let's check it out. If I could find my mouse, it'd be amazing. Um, so that tractor's running 288, so it's actually a fairly good sized tractor. And this one's running 310, so not that much of a bump. Uh, but that's okay, we're not in the position to buy the biggest, most expensive tractor yet. Not yet, guys, someday. Someday. I have a thing for the JCBs, by the way, I really do. I really like the JCBs on uh, 17. They're, they were good on 15, basically the same thing. Uh, but I feel like I didn't use them as much on uh, 15, and I am just all about them on 17. I think part of it has to do with that they were stock in the game on 17. They were DLC, and 15 came out much later. So that probably has a lot to do with it, though I didn't use them as much, because they just weren't available back when when first started playing uh, 15. So, makes sense to me. Makes sense, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really digging the uh, JCB stuff. All of it, too. Well, not all of it. I don't really like tile handler. Not really a huge fan of wheel loaders, but that's tile handlers and wheel loaders in general. Um, little baby, that has some fat big old tires on her. I've never seen a green JCB, guys, have you? Have you guys ever seen this? I like the dual beacons. That is an ad um, over the stock one. Those tires are ridiculously wide though oh I don't know about that not a big fan of balloony tires but that's okay uh, and actually I think we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this tractor as well I don't know that we need it necessarily do we that's a good shore tractor let's let's look here guys because the, the big problem is that everything we own when we started the map is costing us a ton of money every day um, this tractor has 35 hours on it, which really isn't bad yet. Um, 35 hours really is not, um, not the end of the world, but it is a good little chore tractor. How many horsepower does this thing have? Um, this has 210, so really if I hang on to this one for a while, the Fent, yeah, get, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really need the money unless I wanted to buy a field. Um, it would be the only thing I need the money for. But definitely going to get rid of the plows. Um, I have the Kelty plow. I don't need these plows anymore. Yeah, they're good plows, especially the V plow for the wood. Uh, but if I need another V plow, I can always just buy the big one now. Because I have the John Deere. That will pull it just fine. The JCB should pull it as well. Um, I would assume anyway. I would assume that tractor would be just fine. But this is a pretty good chore tractor to keep around. So maybe we'll hang on to it for right now. I love having way too many tractors. I don't like having too few of tractors, basically. Um, if you're struggling for tractors, I don't, I don't like that. I like keeping extra tractors around. Um, yeah, it probably isn't the smartest thing to do because, you know... Everything's costing me so much money per day, but the big one that's costing me, I believe, would be the combine. Yeah, fifty-two hundred dollars. That's really not that bad, I guess. Fifty-two hundred dollars every day for uh, maintenance. Not terrible, I guess. Not just too bad. Not great. Don't get me wrong. But not, not that bad, I guess. Realistically, we're doing. Uh, we're doing all right on money on this map. We really are. We could use another field. Uh, we could use more sheep. And actually, I may just spend what we have on sheep. Because um, long term, the sheep are going to make me a ton of money. Um, 
off their wool. I mean, their wool right now, what's their wool worth? I don't have anything to sell, but it's worth, uh, yeah, it's worth $15,000 a liter or um, whatever it is. $15,000 though. So just that little bit of wool that I have, I can make decent money off of it, which I'm not going to sell, of course. The hope with, with sheep, honestly, is that you stockpile and stockpile and stockpile the wool and you get a great demand and then you sell like crazy. On 15, the wool price has never fluctuated. At least I don't believe so. The wool prices were what the wool prices were. You never got more, you never got less. So it really didn't matter if you sold it bale by bale or pallet by pallet, whatever you want to call it. But here on 17, it matters how you sell your wool. The economy is so much different on 17. You really have to think about everything you do before you do it. Because you just never know how it's going to turn out for you. Um, or what your prices are going to be. And it's it's crazy. The economy is so much different and, and better. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's better. It is definitely better. So. Alright. Actually... Um, okay, I was I was thinking like I should buy a semi. No, let's just use the JCB because it's got speed, baby. Speed for days. Actually, you know what? We need to buy it its own. Um, we need to buy it a weight, and I don't know why. Let's see, is this diable? I like the diable weights. I don't know why. I just like having all my weights be green. Can you guys tell that green's kind of like, you know, my favorite color? <laughs> Can you guys tell that by now? Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but... Ooh. Okay. Cab looks pretty nice on this JCB. Same. It's pretty dope. Yeah, with the speed of the JCB, this is going to become... My new running tractor. Uh, the only thing I'm not sold on is those tires are way bigger than the stock JCB tires on the stock JCB in 17. But I can get over that. I rather have. I actually would really like to have the like the Magnum duels, the skinny duels. I, I like those. I like those a lot. Anything I can buy with skinny duels, like the John Deere, loving it, loving it very American style to me uh, this tractor this JCB which I'm sure there's JCBs in America but there's not that many of them in comparison you see them overseas all the time I mean I've not been overseas but I watch YouTube you know of people overseas like George Saunders um, they run a couple of these big JCBs and uh, yeah I believe they have big blue knee tires on like this but yeah it's very European looking tractor, but that's okay. It, it'll serve the purpose as long as we need it to do so. And when we're done with it, we will be done with it and sell it off and get something different. So, not really a big deal, guys. Truly really a big deal. Look at those backup skills, y'all. They were on fleek. That's all I know. Alright, let's go get some more sheep. And actually, you know what, guys? I, I just looked over at the top. The the, the, the thing here, how long we've been going, we are over time, and I tell you what, I'm going to buy all the sheep. <laughs> I will probably spend all of the money that we have right now on sheep, and yeah, it might not be the best investment ever. It may not be the smartest thing I've ever done, but I will run loads of sheep, and we will be back next time, and we will pick up that grass, like I said we were going to do in this video, but we'll do that next video, and tend to the sheep. Um, all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we will do that in the next video next week. And, uh, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.